Hey there my awesome artists. Welcome back to art and today we're going to be working on the proportions of the face. Proportions just mean um, making things look correct. Sometimes you've seen um, these big pictures of people with these big giant heads and they look kind of like cartoons. So we're trying to make our artwork look more real instead of like a cartoon. So proportions help your artwork look more realistic. So we're going to focus on the face today and I have this handout for you at your table that teaches you step by step where the facial features are going to go. So we're going to pretend to do the first one here because we already did this one and we're going to imagine there are two lines making a plus sign in the middle of the face. So if my chin is right here and the top of my head is here, the middle line of the face is here. That's the line of symmetry there. That's where the eyes will go. And then there's a line of symmetry going down the middle here so that if I do something on the left side, I'm also going to do it on the right side. We talked about that when we were making our crowns. So first thing I'm going to do is the eyes of my self-portrait. And I'm going to start with some blue because my eyes are blue and I want it to look like me. So on this paper here, it says that the eyes are halfway down the face, and there's one on either side of the line of symmetry. So if my eye line is here, and then my line of symmetry is here, I'm going to put one eye on this side and one eye on this side. And actually, I'm going to start with some black, because that's the um, pupil of the eye, and everybody's eyes have that little black dot. So I'm going to make one black dot here using the oil pastels, and then one black dot on the other side so they have symmetry. Then I'm going to take the color of my iris, which is blue, and I'm going to make a circle around that, like so. And this looks kind of creepy, I know, it's, we're getting there. Then I'm going to take my black again, I'm going to make the eyelid. So the eyelid looks kind of like a rainbow going over top of the eye. That's the eyelid. So see here? There's the black dot, the colored circle, and then the rainbow over top. Next is the nose. So the nose is halfway down between the eyes and the chin. So about halfway, which is right here, I'm just going to make a little line for my nose. Just like that. We'll go back to the eyes later and add more um, details to them. Then halfway between the nose and the chin is where the mouth goes. So I'm just going to make a small light line for a little smile that goes from one eye to the other because your lips are actually as wide as your eyes so I'm going to make it go from one eye to another. Now I can go back and add some more details. If I look closely at this picture over here I see that there's an eyelid added on top of the eye so I can make another line there because of that fold and then there's a line under the eye to close in the eye kind of like a smile shape and then I can use my white to color in the space around the pupil and the iris. Sorry for the shaking. Okay. Then I'm going to add some details for the mouth. And I want to make it a mouth color so I can use pink or red. Um, it doesn't matter. But look at the shape that the lips are. They have kind of like an M at the top and then a U at the bottom. So everybody has that on their um, lips. It's just some of us have it more pronounced. So um, if you don't want to make big lips, you can make them smaller. If you don't want to make them red, you can just use um, like a tan or a peachy color of oil pastel. That might work better for you. You decide how you want it to be. And then I'm going to use my black to add some more details, so like um, eyelashes I could add. Remember, boys have eyelashes too. They just might be a little bit shorter and not as fancy. And then I could take my black and add it to my lip again. And now I can add some other details like my chin because the chin couldn't quite see it there so I'm going to add some to the chin and now I'm just going to take some of my oil pastel and I'm going to rub it to make a little bit of a shadow here just to make it look more realistic like a face so I'm just laying my oil pastel on its side going back and forth trying not to get it on that background but if I do it's not a big deal 
okay? Um, I can also do some lines on the ears if I wanted to, to make them look like they have a shadow, just to make them look a little bit like they're farther away from the face, okay? Um, I also need to add some eyebrows because she, this uh, self portrait is looking kind of funny. So my hair is brown, but I would use a brown oil pastel for my eyebrows. Just making a little shape over top of the eye. Kind of like a zigzag line that forms an arch. There we go. Now we have our face, but it's looking kind of strange without the hair. So down at the bottom, well, let's start with this one here. There's a hairline on the forehead. So we need to make sure we draw the line for the hair on the forehead as well as the hair around the head like these pictures here. So you're gonna look at the shape of your hair in the mirror. So my hair kind of goes across my forehead like this and then it goes behind my ear and then it goes across over here and goes behind my other ear. It also goes over top of my head and back down just like this. So I have the shape of my hair, now I'm gonna add some color. And also I wanna make it go down here so it looks like it falls over my shoulders because my hair is long. So I have the basic shape of my hair. Now I'm gonna go back in and color it using my oil pastel. And I wanna make sure that I color the whole thing. If you want your ears covered up, you can make the ears covered up, it's up to you. So I'm just taking my oil pastel and coloring in my hair shape. Making it the color that my hair mostly is. My hair is mostly brown. Some parts are darker, some parts are lighter, but I wanna focus on the main color. Got most of that skin colored up there. Now next I can take um, a darker oil pastel and I can add some lines for my hair. So if my hair is straight, I can make some straight lines. If my hair is curly, I could add some curly lines, or curvy lines rather, to make it look more realistic. Now if your hair has some blonde in it, or um, some other colors, I know some friends have like purple hair or blue hair, we want it to make it look realistic. So you wanna make the hair look real, okay? Now that looks pretty good. And I'm ready to add some things to the um, space around me in this white space up here. So we're gonna try and make it look kinda like um, we're shiny royalty. So I'm gonna pick a color that I really like. You can pick whatever color you want. And I'm just going to make some stripes radiating from the middle of my picture. So I'm starting it with me and going out to the outside. Just making some nice dark purple lines. And I apologize for going in front of the camera there. It's hard to not reach and cover up what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna smudge some of that so it looks like it's kind of shiny. So I'm just gonna go back and forth on my oil pastel and make it look shiny. If it's not working so much, you might need to have a bigger line. So let's try that again. I'm gonna make my line bigger. Let's see if that works better. So I made a mistake and now I'm gonna fix it up. So there we go. Now I'm smudging it to make it look like it's filling in that space. So there's like a dark purple part and then a light purple part. I wanna be really careful on my um, self-portrait over here because I don't wanna mess up the skin and all that. So I'm smudging that color back and forth using my finger. Now your finger's probably gonna get pretty messy and there's a chance you might rip your paper so you have to be really, really careful. You wanna just smudge that around to cover up the white and make it kind of like there's some space in between. So you're gonna do that the whole way around your paper and then your self-portrait is ready for the crown that we will glue on next time. So uh, we will continue this next time Great job with your proportions.